a very good morning to our esteemed guests who have kindly consented to adjudge the national level Asian parliamentary debate competition. Participants from various colleges, media, and all assembled here, a very good morning to all of you. Confucius, the Chinese sage, scholar, and philosopher has said, what I hear, I forget. What I see, I remember. But what I do, I understand. So this learning by doing, or what is known as experiential learning, is very vital for every student. Especially for a law student, it is a loyalty skill. Because theory without practice is blind. Just as practice without theory is sterile. At Nari Gursami Law College, year after year, all our annual events aim at equipping the student with this loyalty skill. In fact, learning by doing is inextricably interwoven with our teaching methods. And today's function is no exception. We are really fortunate to have a galaxy of intellectual stars with us on the days. We have Professor Shamim Balbi, a colleague and a very dear friend of mine for several decades. I have always admired and respected Professor Balbi. In fact, I was just telling him in the morning that if I consider anyone as a professor or whom I could address as sir, in Mumbai University as a teacher, it's only Professor Shamim Balbi. always my dream that he should visit our college. Today my deep dream has been realized, sir. Next to him, we have another twinkling star, Advocate Pradeep Mangyan, a person, a gentleman of unfathomable knowledge, expertise and experience. And then we have Mr. Anshu Raj Singh. We consider him as a pole star because steadfastly he has been guiding our students to navigate legal career options for us. I can't express my delight at having all, at having all of you to be with us on this pleasant occasion. And I, on behalf of the board, on behalf of our college, and all assembled here, I extend a very convivial welcome to all three of you. Now I request all of you to welcome them with a resounding applause. Resounding. <laughs> My dear participants, without you this program was not at all possible. Year after year, as I said, an event after event, because we are having so many annual events, all aimed at giving you the skill of learning by doing. Your colleges have been very cooperative. They have been always sending a team from their center. Please convey my gratitude to your principals and to your institutes for doing that. Today being the holy, this month being the holy month of Ramzan, I know there are many students who are fasting, but yet they are with us. I truly appreciate and welcome all of them. Obviously, some of you will back those magnificent trophies there, as well as the cash prizes. But I sincerely hope that each one of you goes back to the college with enriching and pleasant experience of today's function. Thank you so much. Now, it's time to extend our heartfelt gratitude to our distinguished guests who have graciously agreed to adjudicate today's competition. I request Professor Shambhavi to please felicitate the guests.
tribute to Dr. Gopi Gursahani. In the tapestry of Nari Gursahani Law College, we had Dr. Gopi Gursahani as a privilege. In this tiring life, where hearts hardly intervene, she was a soul whose presence was divine. Since childhood, she was a beauty, pure and bright. With her smile, she would ease everyone's plight. Her life as a student was fueled by fire. To give a healing touch to the sick was her desire. In her doctor's court, she was an angel of health, articulating everyone to preserve health as well. Wearing the goggles of compassion, she served passionately in her profession. As a daughter, she was steadfast and true, her love for the family ever anew. Being a wife, she partnered in every sense, through trials and tubs, a rock immense. She nurtured two young souls with love so bright, no darkness of trials could diminish that light. In the realm of her in-laws, where tensions may rise, she navigated with care, leaving no disguise. So, here's to the lady doctor, skilled and wise, where whose compassion reaches to the skies. In caring for all, she finds her place, a beacon of love in every space. Thank you. Thank you, Meenadi, for enlightening us with a glimpse of man's life so beautifully. Before we proceed to the preliminary rounds, I would like to invite Bhavisha to express our gratitude and propose the vote of thanks. Thank you, Fareen. As we draw the curtains on this memorable inauguration ceremony, I find myself overwhelmed with a deep sense of gratitude. I would like to express my profound appreciation to DM Harish Foundation for sponsoring this event. Your belief in our vision has helped it turn into a beautiful reality. On behalf of Nari Gursani Law College, I, Bhavisha Ramnathani, offer my sincere gratitude to each and every one of you present over here for contributing your valuable time to the 9th Dr. Gopi Gursani Memorial National Level Asian Parliamentary Debate Competition. I extend my deep seated thanks to our esteemed guest of honor, Professor Dalvi, Advocate Man Yang, and Anchu Sir. Your presence here adds a special dimension to our gathering, and we are truly honored by your participation. We look forward to we look forward to witness the spirited debates and insightful discussions that lie ahead. Let's continue to foster an environment of open-mindedness and respect as we embark on this exciting competition. May your words carry weight and arguments be appealing. We wish you a very best of luck. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bhavisha. Now, moving ahead, I would request you all to please rise for the national anthem. To declare this competition open, I would request you to be frank, honest, and most importantly, objective when you put forth your views. Don't be scared of anything. There will be no repercussions. Don't worry. And do your best. All the best to you.
things are used to this. <laughs> Two of them, three of them are here. Well, principal Chandra Mani Nima actually she got me a little bit up and she down. And I want to thank her and all of you for inviting me and for my colleagues for this wonderful event. Uh, I'm not confining myself to the nitty-gritty because they will talk about it. But generally, what I would like to talk about is this, so coming to the results. So much for enlightening the anxiety. Now, uh, generally speaking, since you're students of law, I would like to refer to something which happened a little while ago. The death of Mr. Pali Nariman, the greatest advocate India has produced, and a wonderful son of India. Now, what comes out of his life and his career, a long career, he died at the age of 95, is this qualities which were extolled by various people in the Nobel's meeting, which happened at the, on the lawn of the High Court. One, see, one important thing is this for everyone, when it is very and so and other intelligence, we are not responsible for that. That is God given. But what is important is the other qualities which we have to inculcate ourselves. Now, I am talking about his qualities. First, perseverance. Second, tenacity. Third, industry. Work, hard work. And what is most important in this? never to be satisfied with what he is doing. So he would, he would refer to notes, cancel. He would make you draft notes, cancel. My junior will tell you, I draft and type many times. So I am not happy. I am not satisfied. So that is what we must do in the world. And if you do not have, then one important thing I must tell you, law is a jealous mystery. I have said that in a membership paper on the DTC exam also. So therefore what it means is that you can't have two swords in the hand. That they will never coexist. So similarly, law and anything else which you wish to do will never, never exist. And you will never succeed. Now, also, at the same time, something which I have been observing of late is this. The Terms success and good one, a good one. Successful lawyer can never be commensurate with the word good lawyer. Not at all. Never. And what is happening today is things which are unbecoming with the legal profession to this. In the days gone by, the legal profession was called and considered and rightly so the noble profession. Afterwards, the word noble dropped. After some years, the word profession dropped. And now today it has become a business. I don't know whether it will be or not. <laughs> now, I do not want you, I want you rather to reverse the trend. Will you say yes loudly? Yes! Very good. So now, the trend has to be reversed in what sense I tell you. Earning money is not the only thing in life. Everyone knows that. But the fact of the matter is you can earn money by being honest. You can earn money by being a good lawyer. You can earn money by being an upgraded, updated lawyer. And that is extremely important. I am not interested in telling somebody telling me that Sandita is a successful boss by Sabanati. I am not interested in that. I will be very unhappy actually. Oh, this girl. I am not got your name still. Shamba. Shamba. Okay. So now, so therefore, this important is that you have to be a good boy, like Salina. There are many others like Dani Pantulala, Chandra Chuli, and many others. So therefore, try to be good. Be on the right track. And by being honest and ethical, that is important. If you inculcate the values of ethics, then it is a good thing for the profession. And I would say that you all, if I will walk back in, the head is very high about that you are as my students as well as my other students in Northern Kapalu are doing something for the good of the profession. We have to reverse the trend of the profession having gone down to being a business. 
Having said that, the specific things about today's conversation is that you know, what I, one only thing I'll tell you, one important thing, I found that you all are lacking in preparation. And that is not expected when you come to complete. The second thing is, of course, you have to think on your toes. In the matter of party and debate, what you must think, what the other side is thinking and what we are thinking, what we are thinking, that must be there. And for that you require mastery of the facts. Unless you master the facts, master the facts, you cannot move far ahead at all. And that is also one of the essentials of what is called the subject of drafting, feeling and convenience. Master the facts first, and then you proceed further. Right? All the best, you have done well, but not well to my satisfaction. Now, let's see what else. The runner of prof first goes to, oh my god, am I embarrassed? <laughs> Government law college.